Okay, some of y'all might recall a while back I started uh, flooring the bathroom floor with the leftover tile that we had from the kitchen. You may remember I we did the kitchen in those uh, rubber tiles and uh, I ordered some more. They came the other day. I got them leaned here against the wall. So I'm going to pull them out. I only got to about here. I'm going to pull them out and start working them into place over in this part of the room. See if we can get the whole bathroom done with one more box and the rest of the leftover pieces I got. Uh, that way we'll know whether or not we need to order some more. Alright, I guess we'll call this here my before photo. You can tell that floor is pretty ugly. When I bought this house, this part was so rotted out over here that uh, you couldn't get in the tub without risking falling through the floor. And I took it out and replaced a bit of it. The whole thing needs to be done, but I don't really have the money or the time to do it now. The nice thing about this uh, tile stuff is you just click it down. If you want to pull it up, you can click it back up so that if I do come in here and replace the floor, I can just put this tile right back down on top of it. So that'll be a task for another day, but I thought just for the sake of things looking a good bit better, I would uh, go right ahead and put the tile down on there, and uh, so we'll see how it looks after. I guess this is about as good a place as any to talk about using a scribe to mark out an irregular pattern. What I'm going to be marking out an irregular pattern on is a piece of this black rubber tile and I'm going to lay it around the toilet. Now I know that oh there's a lot of people on YouTube who just howl because I didn't take the toilet up and put a new floor under it and put the tile down put the toilet back on top of it but in reality I still have a floor to re redo here and I will be taking the toilet up and I will be doing a new floor under it and at that time I'll get me a couple new pieces of this tile and I'll snap them into place and I'll put them back down. But for today uh, just to cut this pattern I'm going to be using uh, what's called a scribe, and a scribe is a little stick like this, and what I've done is I've made a measurement from uh, the edge of that piece of tile to here, which is nine and a half inches. I've cut this stick nine and a half inches. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set my pencil right in this little notch right here and then as I run this scribe around the edge I'll be drawing a line that will help me get the shape of this whole toilet thing marked off on this piece of uh, cardboard and then I can put that on top of a tile and draw out the shape of that, to that uh, toilet thing as I'm working it. Uh, I got some things to do I need to I'm going to relocate this because this is just about the size of one of those tiles so I'll be uh, cutting that little notch out back there so that I can position that right and marking that. And I can't hold my camera and draw it at the same time. I guess I could go get a tripod for that. Maybe I will. And then I'll uh, use that pattern to cut out a, a hickey with. 